Our next speaker is Professor Paich with uh, the talk Open Interactive Textbooks, a review and an example. So let's see example from Professor Paich. The floor is yours. Thank you, Larissa. Uh, just to share, can you see uh, my presentation? Yes, we hear you. And yes, um, okay, so since we are running out of uh, time, I will uh, focus on, um, on this uh, particular example and uh, my experience with uh, creating one of an interactive textbook, but just uh, I will briefly go through the, this uh, review part of my paper. So open textbooks are uh, actually the form of uh, open educational resources uh, that uh, enables users to retain, reuse, revise, remix, and redistribute educational material. So these five R's are uh, basically this open part of OER, but uh, I personally uh, think that uh, we should add uh, three more R's uh, since we are uh, talking about open educational materials. Um, because uh, I think that uh, OER, in order to be fully embraced, they need to be properly reviewed. Uh, they need to be somehow recognized by the, the academic community, by students, by fellow teachers, by peers. And they need to be somehow regulated by some types of uh, agreements that are actually uh, available uh, uh, already online. Uh, between universities, for example, as publishers and the authors. Uh, now, uh, where can uh, one uh, find uh, open uh, textbooks? I will mention just briefly a few um, significant sources. One of the largest is Pressbooks directory. Um, then uh, uh, open textbooks uh, library maintained by the uh, University of uh, Minnesota. Um, uh, BC Campus uh, Open Ed, uh, that's one Canadian organization involved in uh, uh, creating and disseminating open textbooks. And OpenStax is very interesting resource also, but uh, perhaps the best way to, to find uh, uh, OER is to use some MetaFinder. For example, the Mason OER MetaFinder is a very useful tool. Now, if you are, uh, have decided to create your own open textbook, you have also many opportunities, uh, many open source platforms. Probably the most popular is Pressbooks. That's the, actually the add-on for WordPress uh, platform. This is the uh, interface for uh, Pressbooks. Uh, basically, you use it as any other text editing software. You can import uh, files from various formats. And uh, the result is uh, actually a book in HTML format, which can be, as you can see here, uh, downloaded or converted uh, in real time in, in many different formats. Uh, I've chosen this uh, particular uh, textbook because this is actually an adaptation. So this is the true idea of open textbooks. This is an adaptation of already existing book called Principle of Microeconomics by other authors published now by uh, a professor from the University of Victoria. Uh, and I would just mention, because I personally uh, think it's more, most appealing uh, uh, in uh, design view, uh, Manifold. Uh, this is also open software, open source uh, software for creating uh, textbooks. Uh, for those that are more ambitious, uh, experienced, uh, I would also recommend to check a uh, book down uh, package for R. Uh, it really facilitates writing books, but you uh, need to know our markdown language. And so, as I said, this is for more uh, experience, uh, experienced users. Uh, now, um, let's get to the example, the open textbook that I have uh, uh, made uh, for uh, students at the Faculty of uh, Philosophy in Alistad, students uh, um, at the Department of Psychology. It's called um, Application of Visualization Techniques in Basic Statistics. It's distributed under the CC uh, non-commercial share-alike license. 
Um, I didn't use any of those uh, softwares mentioned previously. I just made it from scratch because I, I don't know, it was a pioneering project. Uh, I was eager to test my capabilities and <laughs> uh, expertise. So I made it uh, from scratch using PHP, uh, HTML, of course, and uh, basically two uh, free JavaScript libraries, D3 for visualizations and uh, JSTAT for statistical analysis and some coding I did my, on my own for, for some uh, uh, more simple statistical analysis. Now, um, uh, this book is uh, free, it's interactive, it's downloadable in PDF format also, uh, but I will focus on this interactive part. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if we are running out of time, maybe uh, I can just explain, Nadice, what, what do you think? Uh, um, it's uh, five minutes, or, you have time to, to show something that... Uh, yes. So. I'm not sure if, do you not see my uh, web browser window or? Can you see web yes, browser? Yes. No, what? I see a presentation opening ah. textbook. Oh, you have so to share I have to... So, bu, 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 bu. Uh, this is, this is, this is it. Okay, now? So yes. uh, the, the first uh, interactive part of this book is that each section of the book has interactive module. So students, while they are reading some subject, uh, they can uh, uh, create their own data, uh, make some interactive changes. They can uh, download the data they, th they have uh, created and uh, make statistical analysis in some statistical software. Uh, this is first actually form of uh, interaction in this book. Second form, let me see if you can find it here. Yes, uh, there are uh, some quiz questions, quick questions to test uh, the knowledge acquired during the reading of some, some section. Uh, then uh, students have also a possibility to, uh, after registration, to highlight texts or to put some comments in text and uh, uh, if they are uh, actually uh, registered as users, uh, they have a special additional section, uh, my textbooks with all those information, uh, highlighting comments and other. My idea is to make this uh, actually visible to all users so they can exchange uh, information about the textbook, but this is not yet implemented. Uh, also, there is a search function for the book. And uh, basically, <laughs> this is it about uh, the, the textbook. So um, let me get back to the presentation, sorry. Uh, so the, the interactive uh, aspect of textbooks are those interactive modules, uh, uh, possibility to make uh, highlighting and commenting, uh, quiz questions. I forgot this, but never mind. Uh, after each chapter, students have uh, uh, tests uh, that enables them immediate feedback. So they uh, uh, put their answers, answers and uh, uh, they can uh, grade the test in real time and uh, receive a feedback about whether the, the question, whether the answer is correct or not and why it's correct or not correct. Uh, now, um, I would like uh, to, to uh, share my experience in creating this uh, open textbook by uh, speaking something about the uh, past, present and future of open textbooks in Serbia. Um, in uh, in uh, USA, you have a very powerful charitable foundation behind uh, OER. Uh, we have heard uh, from uh, Mr. Kravčić about his efforts in uh, primary education, but uh, the, in higher education, there is still uh, the, uh, the knowledge about OER is still uh, poor. Uh, I am a bit opt optimistic because uh, uh, recently some open science ideas 
um, uh, have evolved in, in Serbia. A national open science platform is adopted, national open science portal is created. And uh, Nadica also mentioned, uh, and Mr. Kavčić, that uh, we have some uh, free university textbook initiatives uh, uh, at Digital Library at the Faculty of Philosophy in Avistad and electronic textbooks at the uh, School of Electrical Engineering in Belgrade. Uh, but we have to bear in mind that online PDFs are actually not uh, OER. In fact, online PDFs are not always fair in the uh, meaning that they are not uh, findable, they're not accessible. Even some of those books that are available uh, freely in PDF format on our site, Faculty of Philosophy and Electrical Engineering, they're not, for example, indexed by Google Scholar. Uh, so um, my perception is that there is a will, there is a potential, but uh, a small extra effort should be made to, to realize that, uh, that potential. Uh, let me give you an example. This is uh, uh, the Cultural Heritage Browser. It's financed by the Ministry of Culture, supported by, my, by uh, Microsoft Serbia. And when you, for example, search uh, for the Roman helmet, which is uh, held in the uh, Museum of Vojvodina, it's uh, probably the most popular and most valuable um, artifact in that museum. It's a golden Roman helmet. You get a picture of this size. And for example, an American student using art store database can see that same helmet in this resolution. So this is the encryption on the side of the helmet. Uh, and for me as a layman, I, I, I have to say, it's very strange. I cannot believe that, that uh, uh, some uh, employee of that museum cannot uh, take a, a, a photograph of that artifact in high resolution, uh, maybe one photograph per day, and we will have a more useful tool, which, which has already been made. Uh, so uh, in, I, I, I think that opening generally, and particularly opening textbooks, should be a collective effort uh, to make those uh, resources that already exist even more useful. Uh, now we are already in uh, the future. Uh, so uh, in my experience, uh, knowledge about OER is poor. Most authors, I mean, my colleagues from the faculty do not profit from uh, writing textbooks. IT personnel is willing uh, to help, uh, infrastructure uh, exists. Uh, faculty is not particularly interested. Uh, feedback from students and peers is um, uh, essential. So uh, in order to enable the sustainability of open textbooks in the future, we have to enlighten, we have to motivate, support, promote, cooperate. We have to enlighten teachers, students, and authorities especially. We have to motivate them by financial or may, uh, other rewards, maybe something that is related to promotion and tenures. We have to support authors that are willing to, to share their uh, textbooks in uh, 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 open format uh, by providing uh, proper infrastructure. We have to promote the idea of open, not only as free, but um, uh, not only as free to use, but also as free to choose. So, um, uh, related to, to that, uh, my constatation that uh, the authors in most cases do not profit from textbooks. They are profiting if they are forcing students to buy their textbooks. And that's the uh, ethical question more than uh, structural. And uh, the cooperation between peers and uh, between teachers and students is fundamental. Uh, now, this is a concluding slide. Uh, we, we have been in present, we, uh, we went a bit to, to the future, and now uh, let's look at the past. I don't think that classical textbooks will soon be a matter of the past. Uh, but what I think is that classical teaching methods, uh, classical uh, evaluation generally, and particularly student evaluation methods will be soon a matter of, of the past. Uh, classical knowledge flow between students and, and teachers will change and should be changed. And classical perception of roles in education. You are teacher, I'm student, so the knowledge flow, flow is from me to you, not vice versa. Uh, that should be, and I think that it will soon 
be changed. Now, uh, I added in the last moment uh, fruits. Since Mr. Vignoli had bananas, I had two apples with the thought from Bernard Shaw. If you have an apple and I have an apple and we exchange these apples, then you and I will still have each have one apple. But if you have an idea and I have an idea and we exchange these ideas, then each of us will have two ideas. That's, I think, the, the very point of, of what I've tried to, to tell you today. So uh, um, thank you very much. And uh, I'm open for questions. Thank you, Professor Pajic. I was keeping my notes while you held your lecture. Um, and thank you for opening so many interesting questions and for your perspective. I agree mostly with them. We have one short question, but I would kindly ask you to uh, stay with us until the end of the session uh, so that we can comment on all presentations. Okay, thank you. I have one comment for Professor Pajic. Um, you mentioned fair principles for open educational resources, and I think uh, it's the first time I hear someone mentions it, um, and I would kindly ask you to tell me your experiences. Is it something that you came up to or some initiative that you want to share with us? Mm, no, uh, actually the fair principles are uh, commonly related to open data, but uh, it's just that I, I've noticed that uh, some of the efforts to, to make uh, textbooks uh, available for free and online are not sufficient to make the, those textbooks really fair, really uh, so findable, accessible, uh, interchangeable. And OER in a basic sense is also fair, I think. Uh, so it was just uh, <laughs> uh, playing with words, not uh, some... <laughs> Uh, result of some my uh, initiative or something like that. Um, I think there are currently many initiatives that you might be interested in to join, and I would kindly share that with you, but I won't take more time here. We had okay, one question. You. Is that, is your book open to everybody or just to students? Or yes, to yes, of course. Uh, as I said, it's, it's uh, distributed under the CC license. The only condition is that... I think that someone... Rates, sorry. Mm -hmm, I that think all that someone shared should... the link. Yes, uh, yes, in, in the chat. Maybe maybe you, you would like to repeat the link. So it's available mm -hmm. to everyone, just to be clear about it. It's not about being available to university students. No, no, that, that's the basic of open textbook, isn't it? Exactly. Um, yeah. 